Hi, this is Josh Robertson from Red Eye Gravy. Now you're cooking. Today I'm going to do a classic take on a southern dish. We're going to do Oklahoma cheese grits with ham steak and red eye gravy. Uh, first off we're going to start with our grits. I've got six cups of water in a saucepan and we're going to get that to a rolling boil. Now that we've got a, our water to rolling boil, we're going to put one and a half cups of quick grits into the pot. Give that a nice stir to make sure it's evenly through the pot. go. And we're going to put a lid on that and we're going to reduce the heat down to low. We're going to let that sit for about five to six minutes until the grits get nice and soft and moist. Alright, it's been about six minutes. We're going to take a look at our grits. Look at that, they're nice and thick. Just got a little bit of heat in there. Now we're going to do what we can to make these good and cheesy. We've got about a little over a pound of cheese. We're going to take most of this cheese, we're going to drop it right down in the pot. Some of it you might have to go ahead and take a couple handfuls, put it in, go ahead and stir. Get it down in there, and it can be messy. Look at that. This stuff just melts instantly. Now we can probably go ahead and take a couple more handfuls of this, throw it down in the pot. The body said this is going to be a healthy meal. Yeah. All right, now as that is melting, we've got about three fourths a cup of butter. Can't go wrong with any dish when you've got a bunch of cheese and butter in it. We're going to take a little bit of the Worcestershire sauce and we're just going to kind of dabble it in there a little bit just on top. I usually don't measure this out, it's more or less just kind of uh, to whatever your taste is, along with also the hot sauce. Whatever your taste is, if you like a lot, you like a little, just put whatever you want in there. That's about how much I like. Now, I'm going to take about a half a teaspoon of garlic, throw that right there on top. We're going to get a little bit of good fresh ground pepper. You can just use your regular pepper, but there's just something about fresh ground pepper in a dish. And uh, this might take a while because, man, I love my pepper. That looks about good. Now, this is the one thing that I can't tell you guys about. This is my special little a uh, deal of uh, salt and spices that I use in mine. And you guys can use your different seasoning salts and herbs or whatever you want to. After we get all that in there, we're just going to make sure we stir it around and make sure that it evenly gets stirred through. Now this dish by itself, just this pot, once you get it melted out, by itself can be a great dish by itself. You can throw this into a bowl and have a nice bowl of just Good old cheese grits. What I'm about to show you is the portion of how we make these grits into Oklahoma cheese grits. All right, now that our grits have completely cooled down, this is the part that I love the most. This is what makes cheese grits Oklahoma cheese grits. In here we have three eggs beaten. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these eggs and we're gonna fold them into the grits very slowly. That way it goes all the way even inside these grits. And while we had it cooled down is to make sure that these eggs don't start to cook in the saucepan. And I'll let you know that here in a second. Now folding you just want to do it really really slowly to make sure 
that all the eggs on the outside of the pan go all the way through the grits. And folding, you just kind of take it from one side to the other and just make sure that it gets folded in there. Cool. While we're doing this, I'll go ahead and tell you, when I started making these cheese grits, the one thing I found out about these, this is the best thing for the holidays. You know, a lot of people that come over, and as you can tell, we're making a lot of grits here. And with the eggs going into the batter here, it's gonna make them even larger. And uh, you cook it for a nice breakfast dish, and then for the entire holiday, people can always come back and eat the leftovers. They warm up really, really well. All right, now that we got the eggs folded into our grits, we're gonna bring them over here and we're gonna set them down. Now, I'm a man that loves my cheese. And I know that we've got about a pound of cheese already in the grit. But what I like to do, especially what we're doing here at the Oklahoma Cheese Grits, is I'll take a little bit of the cheese we have left over and I'll go ahead and sprinkle it on the bottom of the pan that we've already layered with some cooking spray. And that way, when they cook in the oven, they'll get a nice crispness on the bottom. Plus, it's just more cheese. <laughs> all right, we'll get a good layer there. Make sure it's all even. Okay. Now you take your big old pot of grits that we've already created and slowly just go ahead and pour that right down there in the pan. Go about so that way it goes all the way even. And then just take the excess off the bottom of the pan. Kind of layer it down. And after you do that, just kind of go over it, make sure it smooths out and it's all the way even. And that looks pretty. And then again, what I like to do. Take a little bit more cheese and put it on top. Now, a lot of people with grits, they like uh, their shrimp with it. Um, maybe even like to lay it with something else. And even once I had uh, cooked some bacon and I chopped it up and I topped it with a little bit of bacon on top. And um, it just made it a lot, a lot more of a dish. There we go, we got a nice sprinkle on that. And now we're gonna pop this sucker in the oven. All right, now that we got this thing all fixed up, we've went ahead and preheated our oven at 350. And we're just gonna pop this sucker in. And we'll let it set for about an hour. What you really want is, when you look in there, you want a nice brown Christmas on the top of the cheese grits. I uh, will be right back, and when we come back, I'll be doing some ham steak with red-eye gravy.